Hello and welcome to CMC TV Talent. I am Bosco da Costa. My name is Daniela Pergoza and today's talent has been performing since she was six years old. Stay tuned for more. Welcome to CMC TV Talent. Today's musician has been performing literally since she was a little kid. At the age of six, she began vocal and piano lessons and guitar shortly after. By the age of 12, she was already writing her own songs. That's right. Her music is incredibly unique, finding the balance between pop and alternative. Please welcome to the stage, Jesse Vickery! Didn't you 
used to feel like we were always catching on Say we'll play it by ear and you say we'll hang soon enough Wow. Jesse, we're so glad, so glad that we had the opportunity to hear you, especially yeah. on the live. Thank you for having me. Thanks I got for goose, listening. I got goosebumps. Did you get goosebumps? So many. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, uh, Jesse, you've been performing since you were a kid, but you actually started playing soccer and then you moved on to music. How was this transition from soccer balls to pianos and guitars? Well, I was never the sporty type. I would run away from the ball. So I think my parents quickly realized that wasn't it for me. <laughs> or dance, <laughs> to be honest. That's Anything sporty. So I think, I, yeah, I quickly realized music, music was it. That's actually really funny because we've heard that talent is in a family. Uh, you used to help your mommy in parties, is that right? Yeah, she used to be a DJ. Um, it was at, you know, stag and does, weddings, school dances. But um, definitely I would, I would help her set up or I would try my best to. And, um, and I would hand her the CDs. <laughs> That's awesome. You know, it was mid-2000s, early 2000s. So yeah, I definitely grew up around music with my mom. And apparently talent also runs in the family because your, your uncle is also a musician and he actually pushed you to, to become a musician as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, he's in, it's different genre. It's like very heavy rock, but um, he has always wanted me to do something more with it and just step out of my comfort zone. And, um, uh -oh. <laughs> and I uh, finally got into a studio in early 2020 after he found someone that could finally work with my type of music, so. That's awesome, that's yeah. awesome. Uh, we want to ask you this, all of your songs, are they all personal to you? Uh, do you have any type of connection with your emotions? Mm -hmm. Tell us about the process. Definitely. Um, it all comes from life experiences, I'd say. You know, maybe I exaggerate or fabricate a few things into it, but always it's, it's coming from my own life, whether that's love or just my recent project called Growth Spurts. It's all about growing up and, uh, you know, being an adult and adulting. So it's all very personal, personal and intimate to me. So we are safe to say they're all based on true facts? 80 percent, uh, about 80. <laughs> and what about the, the, the 20? The 20 would just be me over exaggerating, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> could, could we ask you if you have any specific song that is your favorite and what's the reason behind it? Yeah, I think I would say either my second song I ever put out is called Blonde Hair. I met it. I made it with my friend during COVID times. So I think it was just a very like personal experience of sending files back and forth from GarageBand and trying to learn the ropes with that. And, um, and it's also the most upbeat one that I've ever made, maybe next to another song I'm gonna perform called Home for the Summer. It just means a lot to me. And then my second one will probably be Like a Baby, the one I performed just now. Um, it means a lot, you know. I mentioned two of my family members in it. They're very happy about that. Um, <laughs> and yeah. It's very personal. We're sure they're really proud of you, aren't they? Oh, yeah. <laughs> my mom's definitely very proud of me. She's my biggest fan. For sure. And uh, specifically about Like a Baby, how was the process of writing the song and the lyrics? Yeah, I usually always start with, I have a, a notes in my notes app, and I just write random sentence down, sentences down whenever it comes to me. And then I'll usually sit down in my room if I think of a melody, and then I'll add those lyrics into the melody and kind of piece it together like a puzzle. So that's usually every single time. Uh, goes the same with Like a Baby. I just wrote it in my bedroom, had the lyrics ready for it, popped them in, <laughs> and, there, and there it goes. <laughs> and what about finding your style as a musician? Of course, you had the influence of your uncle as a hard, hardcore rocker and your mother as a DJ, but how did you find your, your place in music? Yeah, I think I'm still learning every day, honestly. I, um, I just put out a project that was more like bedroom indie pop, but now I'm working on more music that's a lot more pop, but I think down to my roots, I think I still like just very like raw sounding, acoustic sounding alternative music. I don't know, I listen to a little bit of everything too. So I think I'm still finding my way, but that's okay, because it's fun to mix it up. You know, I don't think you, as an artist, you should stick to one thing your entire your entire career of making music, so. 
That's absolutely right. And do you have any specific goal as an artist? Yeah, I think um, doing music full time would definitely be my goal, whether that's songwriting for other singers as well or performing. I just want to dedicate all my time to it. I'd rather, you know, make music than do a nine to five. <laughs> so that, I think that's the dream. You currently live in Toronto, but where are you originally from? Yeah, I've lived uh, on and off in Toronto for the past four years now, but I'm originally from Kitchener, Waterloo. It's about an hour and a half outside. Um, there's lots of music going on there as well, but I wanted the big city. So. And, and you came here to study fashion, am I right? I did, yeah. Back in 2019, I went to George Brown uh, for fashion business. Unfortunately, I have not finished that program. But you're still like a, a, a fashion like yeah. fan and buff. Um, when you're when you have some free time, you go thrifting. Is that correct? Oh, all the time. <laughs> Probably I'm I'm at your local Value Village once a week. Maybe Tell twice. Tell us your maybe favorites. Three. Your favorites. <laughs> thrift stores. Your favorites. I honestly I like the big ones. So I like the like scavenger hunt of it all. I like a good consignment as well. But I think it's like hunting and gathering, right? I'm at Value Village, Goodwill, Salvation Armies. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jesse. And please, don't go anywhere, because right after the break, we have more Jesse Vickery. That's right, stay with us. Welcome back to CMC TV Talents. And now, Jesse Vickery with Home for the Summer. Wonderful. This song was amazing. Do you want to tell us a little bit about the song and how was the creative process? What does it remind you of? Everything. We yeah. want to know everything. Of course. Thank you so much. And um, again, you know, I wrote it in my bedroom. I think uh, 
I think it was maybe a month before I was moving out of Toronto the last time I was living here, back to Kitchener-Waterloo, and I was leaving a certain someone behind, and it's really just about being sad about it, and but, but knowing that it's for the best. So. Embracing your feelings. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so Jesse, now we have a very special segment, Mystery Box. So now we have the mystery box segment, that's right. And on the mystery box, we have a lot of words and you're gonna pick one of them and then you're gonna tell us what those words mean to you. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah that's right. Makes sense. Are you up for it? Yeah, definitely. All right, so nervous. first word. <laughs> All right, so it's music. Music. What does music mean to you, Jesse? Yeah, definitely. Um. I am not a person where I can sit in silence with my own thoughts, so I'm definitely I'm listening to music at all times. When that Spotify year wrapped comes out, you know, I'm in the top listeners of people listening to music, how many minutes that year, I, um, I think. Uh, but music, it brings back feelings, it brings back emotions from even your past. I think it's all about finding that certain kind of genre and song specifically that just scratches that itch for you as a person. And uh, I, I think it's a big, it's a big per part of my life and personality, so. <laughs> so do you think that music is a type of therapy for you? Definitely, yeah. That's beautiful. 100%. One more word, what do you think? I think she should try. Yeah, one more, let's, try. let's see. <laughs> mm. Oh, this is a tough one. Regrets. Wow. That's a good one. <laughs> um, I'm going to bring it back again to my last project, my EP. It's called Grow Spurts, and again, it's all about growing up. Um, I definitely touch on regrets in all my songs in that project, but I like to think of life as living with no regrets and um, just thinking it as you can't, you can't go back. It is what it is, and everything happens for a reason. So and also, I think we should probably use them in order to grow, to see exactly. our challenges and regrets yep. to grow. You live and, and learn. 100%. It's brought me here today, all my past decisions. So Amazing. One more. Yeah. All right. So we have dreams. 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 Yeah. Again, I think it just comes back to my, my dream is to have a job that I'm happy with, I'm content with every day. And I think that would probably be music and making music every day. Um, and I think that you should have big dreams. I also think that the music industry is hard and I like to be realistic with myself, but, uh, but you have to find that fine balance. I try to find that balance of still dreaming big. <laughs> That's my thoughts on that. <laughs> very nice. What about the last one? The very last one. Do you want to do a last one? Yeah, sure. Okay. For sure. Yeah, mix it. There you go. And the last one is... Oh, Fame. Right. Fame. I think they're kind of connected to your dream, oh. eh? Yeah. Again, I just... I have no need to be the next Dua Lipa or Billie Eilish. But, Who knows? Um, who knows, but at the same time, I, I, I just want, I just want to make music because it makes me happy, and uh, and and uh, to to live off of that. Um, I have, I don't need to, to be famous necessarily. Having my own local following is definitely enough, and, and having people just love my music. <laughs> That's awesome. That's really good. And I, I don't think that anybody that it's worldwide famous right now thought that they would be one day. So we want to encourage you to pursue your dreams. And um, it's always a pleasure to have you here with us. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. That's very cool. And right after the break, we have more Jesse Vickery for you. Yes, we do, stay tuned. And welcome back to CMC TV Talent. Yeah, we have Jessie Vickery today with us. And before Jessie sings her last song, 
Jesse, do you have any social media, any platforms our audience can get in touch with you and listen to your music? Yeah, for sure. Um, my name is Jesse Vickery. That's my, my legal name. And uh, my Instagram is jesse.vickery. So J E S S I E, period, V I C K E R Y. That's my Instagram. And then uh, my artist name is just Jesse Vickery. So that's me. That's Amazing. And we have one last song. What's the name of the last song you're performing for us today? Yeah, this one is called 22 Now. And what is it about? It, um, I, I wrote it when I was 22, so it was two years ago I wrote it, I'm now 24. <laughs> and um, again, it's just about growing up, finding yourself, getting a little scared of how old you're getting. And you I'm still feel the scared. same way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> still scared, but uh, you know. Yeah. Getting old can be it. very, very scary. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> but it's I'm, totally worth it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I'm not, I'm not 24 anymore. I'm a yeah. little bit older than that, 30. <laughs> something <laughs> something <laughs> but Scary. jesse thank you so much for coming again thank you and now for the very last time on this episode she might come back later but today it's her last song jesse vickery with 22 now and see you guys next week bye bye Older than